it's a new year, it's a new you. Or it could be the same old you. Let's set goals. In this video, we're gonna talk about setting goals for the new year. All right, let's go. Let's ride. <laughs> so as we are on the cusp of another year, oftentimes people make New Year's resolutions on things they want to do better, improve, change, adjust, or right. adapt to. Right. So in, in this, this video, video, we'll be talking about setting relationship goals for the new year. Absolutely. All right. So as a couple, you have to get together and set goals because if you're going in two different directions, guess what happens? That's called the vision. The vision leads to divorce all right so what we want to do is you usually say divide and then you say a whole bunch it's of stuff. division leads to when you have two different visions when you have two different visions it always takes you off course so the key aspect right. is that we have to get a unified the unified vision right on where we want to go and what we want to do so oftentimes at the end of the year we sit down and we try to write down the things that we want to accomplish for the forthcoming year right we also look at what we did this year good bad and indifferent and then we look at ways that we can improve and accomplish new goals so what we want to do is break up goal setting in two different parts the first part is reflect so first you want to reflect on the things that you accomplished that was awesome your wins for the year what did you do um, as far as accomplishing goals that you set for this year how did you get them done? Did you change habits? Did you um, get a pay raise so you made more money so you were able to do hit some financial goals that you wanted to do? How did you do it? And then you want to, number two, underneath reflect is you want to figure out what the challenges, the challenges were, like the things that you didn't accomplish. Things, things that you didn't get finished. I know last year, um, one of my things, I didn't get a book done. Mm -hmm. So one of the key priorities for the future for the, the uh, this year this year was to make sure I got that done. Mm -hmm. So you have to identify, you know, what didn't you get done? Why didn't you get done? I mean, because right. truthfully, there may be some life challenges that come up come up about mm -hmm. that kind of set you back. I know we had um some health challenges with our family mm -hmm. that kind of put us in a, a different space. Right. I know we had some seasons. I think the year before. Uh, COVID hit and had some other family challenges. So right. with it, you may have some things that are tangible and real that mm -hmm. kind of took you off course, but you have to look at it and say, okay, uh, how can I improve? What can I do differently uh, for the future year? Right. And then the last thing underneath reflect is to assess the type of goals that you set for yourself this year. Were they too easy? Were they really easy to accomplish? And why did you do that if you did do that? And then were they unrealistic goals? Were they goals that you weren't able to, you wouldn't be able to get done within a year or you were depending on other people in order to get it done and those people weren't prepared. You know, maybe you have a, a business, you own a business and you wanted to hit certain markers in your business and your team wasn't even pre prepared as far as being leaders, being better salesmen. Did you not give them proper training? So now you set goals, but you didn't have the right team to be able to accomplish those goals. Mm. So um, did you set family goals and they were unrealistic because you didn't leave any room for a child to get sick or a car accident to happen or, you know, a ticket, maybe you are speeding and you, you know, so were they so rigid where you didn't have room for life to happen? Correct. So you need to really reflect. I always, what I try to do when I, set goals, especially financial goals. Mm -hmm. I never, I never set it for the max. I always put in some grace. So if things happen or some kind of unexpected financial challenge happens that I've already accounted for it. Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes we, we, we overshoot our goals and which leads to frustration right. that we didn't accomplish the goal. Listen, for us, our whole goal is have we improved? Have we gotten better? It may not be as far as we wanted to, but you have to look at the long-term picture and the long-term horizon on your goals. Are you moving forward? Because some right. years are a little better than others. Right. Number two, after you reflect, then you want to actually set your goals for the new year. So the first thing you want to um, do when you're setting the goals for the new year is do what? Write it down, type it, 
put it where it's visual, where you can actually see it, right? Abacasis, right, the vision, make it plain. There's actually studies that on, on re research has stated that when you write down goals, uh, the probability of you succeeding with the goals is much higher. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not just writing it down once, write it down and read it every day. Right. And write it again. Something in our brain starts to wire ourselves mm -hmm. to accomplish what we wrote down. Mm -hmm. So one of the keys to success is having written goals and reading them every day. Right. And reading them out loud because our words have power as well. Correct. So we want to make sure that we're really getting into our spirit because the things that you focus on mentally and the things that you say out loud, it manifests. Right? Now, with the goals, are they realistic? Right. You know, because oftentimes... Assessing uh, your goals. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, a person, I want to be a millionaire. Well, where right. are you right now? Well, I'm a dollar here. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it takes it takes years of climbing to get to a millionaire status. Right. And that's one of the things that, you know, one of the goals I had for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, in my 20s, I said by this age, I'd be, well, actually, I said by 35, I'd be a millionaire. I uh, didn't quite make it at mm -hmm. 35, but by, we made it. But mm -hmm. the gist of it is you have to, position yourself to where you have markers by which you can right. you know gauge where you are on the life journey right and can the goals be accomplished within a year mm. so what we've been talking about thus far is short-term goal which is within a 12 month span right but you also want to have long-term goals too but you have to uh, evaluate the type of goal that you're setting is this particular goal a long-term goal or is it a short-term goal is it a five-year goal or is it a 12-month mm. goal because if it's a tw if it's a five-year goal and you're trying to accomplish it in a 12 month span or once you realize, once you map out the goal, once you realize you're not going to be able to accomplish it realistically within a year, then you make it a longer term goal to make it more realistic for Correct. your family I, I, and for I, you. I know for me, I, I had the goal of 50 books and that's not going to happen in a year right. or five years mm -hmm. or 10 years. That's more like a 20 year goal. Right. But it's, it's big enough that it will keep me motivated and keep mm -hmm. me driving towards it. So you have to ask yourself, is this a realistic goal? Is the one year goal or is a lifetime goal? Right. So that you could be realistic in your expectations. I think also setting yourself up for success as well. So expanding your mind, getting around people that are doing the things that you want to do that are comp that has already accomplished a goal yeah. that you're trying to accomplish really helps you really pivot to the next level because you don't want to be around people that are doing less than you thinking that you're going to be able to accomplish more. You're yeah. not. You don't need to be the height of all your friends, right? No, absolutely. I was on the phone today with one of my uh, mentors and my, my brother was in the car with me. And he was just drilling me, asking me questions, and I was answering wrong. I know I was answering <laughs> wrong. And he said, man, this is so good to hear somebody talk to you like this. Mm -hmm. Not in a negative spaz, but, but challenging on, you. on another level. Right. Who in your life is on another level that it could help push you to the next level? Right. Oftentimes, we, we make unnecessary mistakes versus just asking for help. Mm -hmm. And for me, I asked, you know, as we spoke, I asked questions and got insight and wisdom. And that's what it's all about. Right. Surrounding yourself with a win winning team. Remember, people like elevators. They'll take you up and they'll take, take you, down. you down. So you want to surround yourself with uh, a team of people who are striving to get to the next level. That's right. That's right. All right. So the next thing, after you write your goals down, you assess the type of goals that you have written down, Surround then yourself. you want to make an action plan, right? Yeah. How, step by step, how am I going to get this goal accomplished throughout the year? And have markers for yourself. So the first quarter, this is what the goal is. The second quarter, this is what the goal is. And once you assess your goal each quarter, you can make adjustments because sure. based off of life situations or something happening, you may have to make some adjustments like we had to this year. Correct. So example, you say, you know, uh, this year I want to make a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Okay. So what does that break down? That breaks down to $8,300 a month. Mm -hmm. What's that break down to, uh, for, uh, 22,070 something dollars per week. So much better math than me. <laughs> then what is that? That's $300 a day. Okay. Wow. Uh, so I think you get $300 a day. So well, what do I have to make per hour? Well, you divide by 300 by eight, you'd make $4 an hour. That's and see, it. if you're only making $20 an hour right now, then that's an unrealistic goal. Unless you're going to get another job. Unless you're going to get another job or you're going to get a major pay raise. Yeah, so it's funny. I go, okay. to my, I go to my barber shop 
And uh, I said, I give them, I was like, man, I got an idea for y'all. And they're like, they're, they're soaking it up. Mm -hmm. uh, today, one of our members got their doctorate degree mm -hmm. and I was a part of their dissertation uh, today. And uh, he said, he said a lot of his ideas he got from church. Wow. And he said, you know, a That's lot so humbling. of humbling. Amazing. He said, a lot of the ideas I've gotten, I gotten from you and from church. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, praise the Lord. My whole my whole goal is to pour in and then you can pour in someone else's life. Mm -hmm. The uh, the reality of it all, brothers and sisters, is we're on a clock. Right. And time is fleeting. Mm -hmm. And you have to maximize your moment. Right. Remember this. If every year your goal is the same, it's not the goal. It's you. Right. And you have to make something different. If every year you have the same fitness goal, same weight goal, oh, same, no. same that that's not the goal is the issue. Right. The issue is you're not doing something different. If you want right. something different, you have to do something different. If you right. always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. So what changes do you have to make? What habits do you need to make? Break or make. Break or make, exactly. To give you the success you're looking for. Remember this, success doesn't happen in a day. Mm. Success happens daily. That's good. Daily choices, daily decisions to mm -hmm. where you can be successful. That's good stuff. Well, we appreciate you listening. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. We um, upload videos on a regular. And please let us know what your main goal for next year is. Inspire someone to set goals with the comments you leave um, on our YouTube channel. Remember, love, love laugh, and, and learn. learn. Be blessed.